knows what's that from Dicey? Welcome back to Next Up, where we spotlight some of the rising teams you should watch. Oh my goodness, oh baby, my baby! This week, we're looking at North America's FaZe Clan. Despite being one of the earliest orgs to enter Valorant, FaZe have struggled to build a successful roster. Last year, they saw some regional success with a second place finish at NA Stage 1 Masters, but they failed to qualify for the international stage. After a poor start in Challenger Stage 1 this year, FaZe took it back to the drawing board in April to rework their roster. Early indicators show that this new FaZe has promise. Remaining on the team is the lethal duelist duo of Baby Bay and Dicey. Dicey and Baby Bay again. Again, coming up just so, so clutch. Baby Bay has played with FaZe from the rip. As the team's resident Jet, he's one of the most consistent top fraggers in the region. Baby Bay has been putting up serious numbers this year, topping the global VCT leaderboard with an average 285 ACS this season. Baby Bay on the open, three players trying to crossfire over and out. Oh my, Baby what Bay. The? Dicey previously played with 100 Thieves and Immortals before signing with FaZe this year. His ability to lock down sites and deliver essential kills on chamber has been a huge factor in FaZe's recent success. Together, Baby Bay and Dicey are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, what? What? Holy Dicey. Completing the roster, we have three newcomers. Supermen, Poised, and Poach. Supermen and Poised put themselves on the map with Rise. Superman is a world-class controller known for his high-level sight executes with Viper, Omen, and Astra. Poised is a top-tier initiator who can step up and slay when his team needs it. It's not uncommon to see Poise outfrag his duelists on the server. And it's perfect. a perfect crossfire! FaZe knocks down all five pins! And finally, we've got Poach. He earned his stripes with Built by Gamers, where he proved to be a reliable Sova and an intuitive IGL. Now he's bringing his shot calling and mechanics to FaZe as their new leader. FaZe's new roster is already proving their mettle. This past weekend, they took wins over Sentinels and TSM in the NA Challengers Open Qualifier. Dicey dropped a whopping 28 kills on Map 3 to stop Sentinels' comeback in the second half. Ultimately, FaZe qualified for NA Challengers 2 group stage without dropping a single series. But will they stack up against the best NA has to offer? Tune in to the main event starting May 13th to find out. Tens vs Baby Bay. Faze just tearing it up right now, ladies and gentlemen. They're here to make a statement. They're here to make a statement. Make some noise for Phase Plan as they continue to hold on to this lead. <laughs> 